Welcome back, everybody. November is prematurity month, and we have a touching story to share with you about a local mom's journey as a NICU mom. Nurses rushed her baby into the neonatal uh, natal intensive care unit moments after birth because of complications caused by preeclampsia. When it was time to go home, her baby had to stay behind for life saving treatments. Now, thankfully, the baby is fine now, but our NICU mom wants to help other mothers facing the same scary situation. So Mikey Hood shows us how she's turning her experience into something beautiful. Katie Love, a first time mom and local entrepreneur, says there was already the anxiety of being a first time mom on top of that, having a baby during a global pandemic. Around 34 weeks, I was alerted that I had something called preeclampsia. This is a condition that can be dire for mom and baby. And at that point, um, I was going into the hospital multiple times a week, getting my blood pressure checked, and we just never knew when she was gonna make her appearance. At 37 weeks, her baby Addie arrived after three days of labor. Her shoulders were stuck in my pelvis and they just had minutes to get her out. They put her on my chest and it was like the most amazing feeling ever. Within minutes, they decided that they needed to take her away to the NICU. And having gone through this really stressful pregnancy and then delivery, and then for them to say, we have to take your baby, it was really, really hard. Because of COVID, additional outside visitors were restricted. Luckily, my husband was allowed in the room but no other family. So my sister, my mom, everyone who had planned to come to enjoy this amazing moment in my life were not allowed. Miggy was so amazing. They made arrangements. They wheeled me down just so I could see her. And the first time I saw her, she was in a little incubator and had tubes and wires everywhere. It was really, really hard, but I could see her. I knew she was okay and obviously she's okay today. She posted her experience on Instagram and other moms started messaging her about their similar experiences. She realized she wasn't alone. So Katie decided to team up with Kendra Scott Jewelry, McGee Women's Hospital, and Dickerson Creative for a fundraiser to make sure research for preeclampsia continues. I just really feel like by doing this and giving families and women a chance to come and do some shopping, knowing that they're giving back, I think is incredible. 20% of every purchase inside a Kendra Scott store and online with a code will go to McGee Women's Institute. Kendra Scott is a powerhouse. She is a mom as well. And so having our fundraiser in the store was completely perfect. I never knew what the feeling was gonna be like, seeing her for the first time, being a first time mom and it made all the trauma, everything that happened, completely worth it. I'm Mikey Hood for PTO.